it's somebody's birthday and you know what that means time for birthday dog treats <laughs> Okay, so today we're gonna make something really easy. We're actually gonna make strawberry ice cream for Shelby for her birthday. All you are gonna need is some strawberries, a container of plain yogurt. It doesn't have to be low fat. This was just what I grabbed, but make sure it is plain. And then we're actually gonna freeze some of the ice cream in these little graham cracker uh, crusts because I thought it was cute. Or you can use little baking cups or you can actually use like the ice cube trays like you guys saw us use for the uh, watermelon treat video. Okay, you're gonna come make treats with us? Come on in here. I know it's a little different than normal, but this one was so easy we thought we'd film it this way. And then of course, what's a birthday without a cake? We are actually gonna use this box cake. I know, what do you think girls? And we are going to make cupcakes for Shelby. And if you guys are interested in buying this box cake, there will be an Amazon link down in the video description to where you can get it. They have a bunch of different flavors, and no, it's not really chocolate. It's carob. It's not really chocolate. Now, there are a couple different ways you can do this. You can either smash the strawberries up, make like a puree, or you can cut them up into little pieces. And I think today we're going to cut them up into little pieces. Let's see. Shelby, do you like strawberries? Do you? She's like, hmm. You want? I know you would take a bite. What? <laughs> She's like, I don't, I don't. Oh, oh, oh! Let me drop it. <laughs> what about cut up? You'll take one cut up. You'll take one cut up. Will Shelby do it? She's like, nope. nope. Let's see if she'll eat it now. How about now, Shelby? Oh, gee! Now it's the best thing ever. <laughs> So like I said, I chose to chop up our strawberries and now we are going to add the entire tub of yogurt. Right to it! And we're gonna scoop it and stir it together. It'll be great. <laughs> Can't do it one-handed though. Alright, well that didn't turn out quite as pink as I had hoped. So I'm gonna take the rest of my strawberries and I'm gonna put them in a blender and I'm gonna pour them in there. That's a little bit more of the color I was looking for. We're gonna pour it in here and then mix it back all together. It's pink! Memphis is pink! And then we're gonna take, and I'm actually gonna pick the bowl up, but we're gonna pick the bowl up and we're going to fill these little cups and then we're gonna fill the little cupcake cups with whatever's left. All right, now we've just gotta put them in the freezer overnight so Chevy can have them for her birthday. You guys wanna try a little bit unfrozen? You wanna try some unfrozen? Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, want to try some unfrozen? I know you're gonna be crazy and you're gonna be crazy. Here, Shelby. Okay, here, Memphis. Fine, since you have no patience. Here, Oakley. Since I know you have no patience either and Shelby has the best patience. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good unfrozen? <laughs> well, they like it unfrozen, so hopefully they'll like it frozen. <laughs> and now we're gonna make the carob cakes. Again, it's not chocolate, it's carob. All you're gonna need is one package of the box cake, a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, three quarters of a cup of water, and one egg. We're gonna throw it all in here and mix it together. Preheat your oven to 350, mix the batter together, spray your cupcake pan with a non-stick spray, and then just pour it in. What do you think? You want some cupcakes to go with your ice cream there, Diva? Yeah? Is it gonna be good enough for you? You're so stinking cute. Since it's your birthday, do you get to lick the spoon? <laughs> Are you licking the spoon? You wanna lick the spoon? How about you, Oakley? I lick the spoon? Think it's gonna be good? Hmm? Think it's gonna be good? What do you think? Think it's gonna be good? <laughs> we'll find out. As I almost dropped the camera. And now we'll let them cool. I only ended up making five because I couldn't remember how much it expanded, but I probably could have done all six of these. All right, everything is done. The little cupcakes turned out perfect. The frosting that I actually used, you guys, is just a mixture of about a quarter of a cup of peanut butter and a quarter of a cup of applesauce. It makes the unsweetened applesauce. It makes the perfect frosting for these treats. And then I put them in the fridge a little bit so it firms the frosting up a little bit. And the little sprinkles you see on there are actually just a few of these. Yes, they are made of sugar, but there's only a few on there. You don't have to put them on there. We just thought they were cute. You could also take and crumple up dog biscuits and put them on the top. I thought about doing that. But now, the ice cream. How did the ice cream turn out? How did the ice cream turn out? Look at how cute it is! Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, you cannot steal any. The ice cream turned out 
absolutely adorable. I really like that I put it in these little cake tins, the little graham cracker crusts. But even these, they come off really easy and I think, um, I think they're excited to try. Uh, are you excited? Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and let them. I will, I will let you try the ice cream, but the cake, you'll have to get on, on Shelby's birthday. You can't have a cake on Shelby's birthday, I'm sorry. I know, and you're gonna see Shelby's birthday video before you see the ice cream video, but right now, you're only getting ice cream. So hard to do one-handed. All right, Memphis is like, I got this figured out. Oakley's like, I'm taking mine somewhere else. Shelby, are you licking yours? Is it delicious? Is it, is it, is it good? I wasn't sure if you'd like it. I actually got some on my fingers and just licked my fingers and it literally tastes like frozen strawberry yogurt. There's no sugar in it, which is good. I guess it'd be healthy for people too. So, hey, share one with your dog if you want. Right, girls? <laughs> Oakley, oh my gosh, you guys, really? We gotta go check this out. Oakley, if you bury it, it'll melt. Oakley, you can't bury your ice cream, it'll melt. Oakley. You can't, you can't bury it. It'll melt. <laughs> okay, so apparently Oakley is gonna bury her ice cream. There it is. Oh, you're gonna eat it now, it's covered in dirt. Oh, not a good enough hole. She's gonna put it in this hole instead. Is it, <laughs> you are such a, apparently it's just that good that she wants to save it for later. So there you have it, you guys. Homemade strawberry ice cream for your dogs. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments if you decide to make these for your dogs. I think our dogs really liked them. Oakley just decided her need, hers needed a little bit of dirt topping, apparently. Silly, silly girl. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. And if you didn't do so yet, on Saturday we put up Shelby's birthday video. So if you sent, sent something to Shelby for her birthday, it was opened in the birthday video. So you can definitely go check that out on Saturday. And other than that, I think that's it. I think we're good, right? We're good. All right. <laughs> oh, you're going to eat it now and <laughs> with the dirtiest face possible. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. As always, stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Turn on.